And jewel crafting? Is jewel crafting going to be the same thing? Oh, we got prospecting. Select or prospect. Oh, we don't have auto loot. I want to see what we get. I want to see what we get. Auto dismount in flight. What? If enabled, your character will automatically dismount before casting while flying. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, there it is. Auto loot. Okay. Um, let's see here. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get from prospecting? Let's see what. Let's see what's up. Is emerald? I see. Why does it not continue, man? Oh, okay. Oh, bro, no! Don't tell me we have to click every time. Surely this has to be a bug, right? When I click create all for prospecting, it stops after one, after one craft. This seems broken. Sag. Insert higher number. Oh, we can try that, yeah. Try to click create like that. Nah, it, it still doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Even if we have it higher. People are going crazy on Wowhead Twitter because Blizzard nerfs dragon flying. With 30%. Wait, they're nerfing it? What do you mean nerfing it? Making it slower? Only Soros nerf, not dragon riding. Oh, so they're only like they're only changing one little thing. I mean that's to be expected, let's be honest. What is this? Oh, so it's just you the maximum speed is gonna be nerfed by about thirty percent. But it's thirty percent, it's probably not gonna be that much. Like, have you noticed how quick we are? Soar is currently over twice as fast as Epic Flying, which travels at 410% speed. The result is that the Dragfi have a drastic efficiency advantage over characters of other races when doing non-Dragonized content. Whether that's Chrome Time Quest, clearing old raids for transmog, or pet battling, etc. They're only nerfing it by 30%, man. That's not that crazy. So they're nerfing the Dragfi ability. They're not nerfing Dragon, dragon Riding. But dude, that's interesting. So for gems, we get green gems, we get blue gems, and then we also get purple gems. So we get all of it. 30% today, 50% the next day, why even nerf it? Well, obviously because they, they, they think it's it's too overpowered for drag fears to be able to do that. You know? Like it's alpha. Like what, what do you want? Of course they're going to change it. Is blacksmithing in the alpha? Yeah, we tested it a uh, little earlier. Shalil, we looked at it in a, a little bit. Yeah, I'm still on here, Eternal. We're going to be on here for a while, probably. But that, it, that's interesting to see. So, we're going to have... What, how many? What, five different ones? Blue, red, orange, green, purple. So we're going to have five different gems. So we're going to have 
five different gems that are green quality, and then five different gems that are blue quality, and then five different gems that are epic quality, and then every single gem will have three different tiers. <laughs> so we're gonna have 45. Wait, is that math correct? Five, five, five. And then times for yeah, forty-five different gems as a jewel crafter. Oh, there's gemstones too. So that's actually forty-eight. Forty-eight different materials. <laughs> forty-eight, dude. For bro, how are we gonna manage all this, man? Like, no wonder you're gonna have to be a profession specialist, man. Forty-eight different materials for jewel crafting. Good lord. That's crazy. That's actually insane. Prismatic ore? What the hell is this? Acquired by jewel crafters by prospecting ore, and it can itself be prospected. What? <laughs> You can get prismatic ore. Wait, so you can prospect something, and then you can get some more ore to then prospect one more time. Huh. Well then. Alright. That's Inception, bro. That's actual in Inception. That's interesting. I want to see what that gives. I wonder if it's even, like... I wonder if that's even good, or if it's just like an, a little extra thing to use what you have. I wonder. I only have three of them right now. I'll do a little more. Do a little more. Maybe that ore can give another pros- <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Prospecting? Prismatic ore? To then get more? <laughs> Inception, man. So wait, that actually means there's 49 different materials. As a jewel crap. No. Was that glass too? Oh my god. So you also get 50. So there's 50 different ones. Oh, this is how you get it. Awakened air. You can actually get... No, no, no. Okay, you can't. But wait, where was... There was also like some glass stuff, was there not? Fracture gla fla fractured glass. So there's 51. 51 different materials. But I have to do so much campaign before I can get to the mission table? What do you mean so much campaign? Okay, that's interesting. I want to see the specialization tree. So let's check that out. Let's get up there and see it for jewel crafting. Sounds like instead of intelligent designs for everything in the kitchen sink at it. <laughs> well, obviously, Shadow, there's a lot of the pieces of the puzzle that we still have not seen in action. So I don't want to say... Because, like, it might seem like a lot to have 51 different materials, but if it takes us months and months and months and months to get all of them, I don't think it's going to be as overwhelming as it might seem. I really don't. Because, like, yeah, there might be this many materials, but it definitely seems like it's going to take forever to get a lot of them. You know? It's kind of like getting a full expansions uh, thing, and then you can do it immediately. So I, you know... You know. All bad. New U yeah, new UI overhaul completely. There, the everything's getting revamped for that. While you may be correct on that, it still seems like too much for one expansion. They can't keep this up for every expansion. Well, that depends. We don't know. We've never seen them do something like this before, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I also feel like a lot of their time is probably also just re redesigning the whole UI and redesigning the idea. Like, if they have the base, like, if they have the bare bones and they understand what it is that they want with professions, I think it's going to be a lot easier to add more onto it now that they have it. You know what I'm saying? But it might change a lot, you know, as well. 
can't just copy this system for the next expansion. Just re uh, renamed it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. They brought on that other game studio. Yeah, but I mean, it's still. We'll 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 see. We'll see what's up. But I also Shadow. I I still. I do get what you're saying. I know. But that's the thing. This could be very good, but it could also be very problematic. It all just kind of depends. But it looks, bro, the, a lot of this stuff looks really good. I, I'm, I'm excited. Like the professions, every single profession looks like it's going to literally have so many hours of content to do. And it's going to be time gated in a way that we're going to be able to do a lot of it. And it definitely also looks like I'm going to be able to use a lot of my tunes, man. It definitely does. Definitely does. I just want to get up to 25 here so we can see the specialization tree for jewel crafting. Because a lot of this stuff, it's, you know, a lot of it's placeholder. A lot of it's still, you know, we don't know how we get a lot of these, a lot of these materials. And that's what we're looking at, you know. The, that's the things that we're waiting for. So I want to see the base design for the specializations to get an idea of how that's put together. And then I want to see whether or not that's any, there, there's any crafting cooldowns. So far, there wasn't any in blacksmithing. There wasn't any in leatherworking. We did have some in alchemy. Daily crafting cooldowns. Now we're trying to figure out if that's going to be the case with jewel crafting. Don't know necessarily what would be, but we're about to find out. We're about to find out. So how do we get more pendant? This is just a piece of gear, yeah? So that's not going to matter. This is... Okay, so we don't need that. These are like straight up gems. Okay. So we need the rousing air and the rousing. Okay. Let's get all of that stuff. Bro, I'm asking for 200 and it's giving me. There we go. Okay. And we're at what? 20. So we still need to get a little, little further. Little further. Was a free day something? I guess we'll we'll try to find it. We'll try to figure it out. Shall we? Do our best. Two more levels up here. None of that so far. It's given us any cooldowns. Elemental harmony. Harmonious union between the gems of Dragonut Isles with awakened elements crafted by Jewelcraft with the assistance of alchemists can be bought and sold in the auction house. Element so this is uh, this is almost almost a spirit of harmony. Do I for the new cast bar man? That's sick. Yeah. We're gonna check out, out a lot of it. I wanna look at I, I'm not gonna lie, as soon as we're done looking through all of this, I'm gonna go look at the drag fair customizations, because I have to. I do. That's just how it is. Okay, so there's nothing there. 107,000 room callings boxes. It's good stuff. Good stuff. So no cooldowns on the gems so far. It's very interesting. Okay. Okay, they're also fucked. Good. Good to know. I wonder what it is that, that could have cooldowns then. Hmm. What's in unlearned? Maybe, maybe it's the, uh, this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Elemental harmony. Let's see if we can get it. Uh, where would it be? Oh yeah, the rhinestone sunglasses, dude. I really wonder how we're gonna get this. This is a recolor of the rhinestone sunglasses from Cataclysm. 
Uh, I really wonder how we're going to get that. Because that's going to be one of those things. If this is in like the rhinestone sunglasses, it's going to be crazy, man. It'll be cool. I'm excited. Statue, projection, jeweled offering. It's not what we need. And um, no. So much stuff with these new professions. So there's a lot. There's a lot. Forceful, fears. They're definitely doing, definitely doing gems to a big extent again. So that's nice. Energized, no. How do we get that? How do we get that? How do? We... Elemental harm. Oh, that was levels, right? Was it not? It was. We need to get the forty. Let's get it. Hoping more cosmetic stuff like the sunglasses find their way into the game as well as craft amounts of pets. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of toys and pets and uh, cosmetic stuff. I haven't seen any mounts yet. Not seen any mounts, but there's a lot of potential, definitely. This one. This right here. That is the one I feel like there might be a cooldown on. And we need a primal convergence. Was that the er alchemy stuff? It was. Is this a daily one? Or is this a cooldown one? I guess not. There's no cooldowns on this one either. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Jewel crafters can make vials. At a higher quality. You're telling... Oh, God. You're telling me basic crafting materials can be made by other professions at higher qualities, which means you're going to have to buy these from other people? Wow. <laughs> okay. All right, Blizzard. I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing here. That is very interesting. That's a very interesting choice. I like it, dude. And you use those you use a little fracture glass, some some gemstones that you get out of prospecting as the extra materials, and then you use it to Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Sure. Sure. Blotting sand? No, it's probably not that either. What has the cooldown then? Primalist gems? Are these the ones maybe? The, 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 this stuff? Let's get them. Let's get them. We'll get these. Maybe it's these ones, right? What'd you, what, what'd you guys think? What'd you guys think? The crazy ones? The epic ones? Let's see. Can we get them? Uh, Jewel, nope. Where are they? There it is. They're there. Man, it's going to be crazy to figure out how we get all of these. Are these going to be daily? No. Huh. Well, I guess not. Time watches patience. Time watches patience. This. A marvelous, although fragile, gemstone. It can be cracked to reveal a small horde of Nostarite. Huh. Interesting. Extravagant glasswares? Oh, I see what they're doing. Convert a mass of unimpressive gemstones into something... I see. Okay. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. It's kind of like transmuting, but just jewel crafting. Okay. I don't mind it, man. I don't mind it. Let's get this one. Jeweled Dragon's Heart, right? Is that what it's called? Jeweled... Uh... No. 
There it is. Prospecting. Let's do it. Do some more here. It was not that one. Where where did it go? Skillful limited diamond. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big boy one. Okay, Jewel Dragon's Heart. Let's see. Let's see. Can we just... Is there going to be any cooldown? Three days. And how much does this give? Okay, bro. <laughs> oh, wait. They don't share cooldowns? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They don't... Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, let's get the other ones. Dreamers Visions. Queen Keeper, Earth One, and a Dreamer. Okay, let's see. Uh, no. Uh, Queen, no. Yes, it is this one. Dreamer. And then... Nope. Nope. Uh, where are the other ones? Oh. Okay. Let's learn those and let's see if all of them are different. It definitely seems like all of them are different. It seems like they are. Let's see. Okay, no. Oh. Now it's two days and 19 hours. Hmm. Why did that go down? Oh, I see. Okay, so this one that uses all of them. That uses all of them to get a jewel dragon's heart. Okay, they do give a little bit. I mean, it's not like that it's that great. But maybe maybe it is actually great depending on how fast we get it. That's a little hard to tell. But it definitely see they don't share the five ones, right, that are individual ones, they all share cooldowns. So that one you're gonna have to be very specific with. And then there's gonna be this one, which is a dual dragon's heart. These could be good. These these could be, but I don't know if they're necessarily going to be. So that's that's going to be pretty interesting to see whether or not that's going to be the case. That's going to be pretty interesting to find out. Okay. Well, I mean, other than that, there's not really anything else that we want to check out right now because a lot of these like super high crafted things we're probably not going to be able to craft them very quickly and we also don't know like a lot of this really just depends on how fast we can, what do you call it? It depends on how fast we can get all of this. It all depends. Two is a little hard to tell. But it, dude, there's a lot of toys, man. Copy the appearance of a targeted party or raid member. Bro, this is so cool. And then you got the rhinestone sunglasses, the new ones. Split then specs. There's a lot of cosmetic stuff. It's a bunch of pets here. Statues. Oh. Huh. Wait. Oh. Huh. Alright. But this is this is this is all good stuff. Leatherwork can have any pets, cosmetic items. You got drums. You got all the profession equipment, of course. You got a lot of that, actually. That's cool to see. Oh, we actually got a couple toys. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Armor kits. BOE? Yeah, 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 they are. No. Binds went pick up. Oh, this one is Binds when picked up. This one is not. And this one is also not. So some of them are, some of them aren't. 
But this is also way too early to tell because it could definitely change. Uh, okay. That's still good. That's still good stuff. But that's basically everything that I wanted to look at. I wanted to see... What is this? Fascinating. Improves in a, improve in the practice of cutting gems to improve the quality of your cuts and discover new design. Fascinating. Fascinating. I don't know. Setting. So this is your gear. This is more gems. Enterprising is what? Practice of uh, extracting reagents and a usable. So this is this this right here is prospecting. This is making good gems to equip. This is the gear that you can make. So rings and necks and thing and and things like that. And then you have jeweler's kit mastery, which is just overall make yourself better, higher skill. Okay, that's interesting, man. So we're gonna have between what three to three to four crafting specialization things that we can pick and it seems that we can pick two at a time and eventually we can pick more or maybe but that's that's crazy dude he said something about how crafting bup items would work you can use the work order system to craft a bup item for someone else i really hope we can use our all stand in that, in that way yes yes we are going to be able to do that but that was specifically for crafted gear scrim that was specifically for crafted gear they didn't say anything about toys. They didn't say anything about toys. <laughs> Good lord. Ugh. But that's interesting to see, man. That's cool to see. Whenever they make updates, what actually, like the 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 most important thing that is gonna make or break this is figuring out when they tell us how we're gonna get these. Uh, specialization points the talent points for the professions that's important how and when and where and how many and all of that that's gonna matter and then also when we get the gathering professions because those are also really important because that will also determine how fast we're going to be able to get certain materials how to you know how everything is going to work like that but other than that there's not really anything else uh that we can really look at that's going to be of any importance because a lot of this is still going to change like there's a lot of placeholder things in here still but that's still still it's very cool to see how much there is it definitely does not seem it does not seem like any and i'm i'm dead ass when i say this it doesn't seem like any of these professions are going to be left behind blacksmithing had a ton of stuff alchemy had a ton of stuff Leatherworking and jewel crafting all have a ton of stuff. It's crazy how much there is. It's uh it's 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 pretty crazy. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how it turns out. 